Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Today's story, we are going to continue in talking about our three pillars of being on the spy team. Well, today's story comes to us from Ada and Macy. They are going to teach us how important self-control is. Self-control is one of our pillars of being a spy, so listen close. Are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Ada and Macy lived in a very special place. They lived next to this almost magical looking forest. It was full of all the most amazing plants. All kinds of plants for different reasons, like plants you could eat. Like what when you think of a plant that you could eat, what comes to mind? Apple trees, maybe? Yep, there's apple trees in the forest. Any Anything else? Maybe some strawberries or, or blueberries or... Oh, yeah, there's so many delicious plants. And all of them were in this forest. And there was also plants for medicine. Did you know that plants have been medicine for a very, very long time? Yeah, there's some kinds of plants that you might eat to help your tummy feel better or to help you sleep better, or there's all kinds of different things that live in this forest in Ada and Macy's backyard. Well, today they were going on a scavenger hunt. They had a whole list of plants that they needed to find and they were almost all done. Macy, uh, I just need some peppermint leaves. Do you see any over there? Uh, I don't, Ada, uh, nothing over here. I knew that there were some. Where did they go? Said Ada. Hmm. Oh, wait. Look over here. Behind the bush, Macy peeled it back, and there it was. A delicious-looking peppermint plant. Have you ever smelled peppermint before? Oh, it smells so good. And did you know that there's real peppermint leaves? Yeah, that's where the smell of peppermint comes from. And if you break the leaf in half and you smell it, oh, it smells just like toothpaste or gum or a peppermint hot chocolate. And oh boy, I love peppermints. Well, Ada and Macy had finished their list of all the things that they needed to find. Tonight, they were having a very special backyard campfire with their family. Ada and Macy had been looking forward to this for a very long time and... The peppermint leaves were going to be a very special secret ingredient to their s'mores. Have you ever had a s'more before? Oh, I love s'mores. The graham crackers, the marshmallows, and the chocolate. Oh, I just, I, I, I would eat a hundred of them. <laughs> Probably you too. Well, Ada and Macy, they shouldn't eat a hundred, but they were looking forward to tonight. So they had gathered all the sticks and uh, everything that they needed for the campfire. But it was time for dinner first. And do you know what they were going to cook over their campfire? Hot dogs on sticks. Have you ever done that before? Oh, it's super fun. They put the hot dogs on the sticks and roasted it right over the fire. Ah, I love the smell of the campfire, said Ada. Ada and Macy were sitting next to each other on a very big log. That was next to the fire. Their parents were on the other side and everyone was having a very nice night. Ah, <sighs> so anyone have a story? Said one of their parents. Oh, I have a story, said Macy. Everybody leaned in because Macy was a very good storyteller. 
One day, me and Ada, we went to the beach. And all of a sudden, there was a magical chocolate fountain in the center of the beach. And then when we started eating it, we turned it to ants and the giant squid tried to get in. <gasps> I think she's remembering the story from Kit Short Stories about the ants that, uh, or the people that turned into the ants because of the giant squid. That is a silly story. Well, Macy finished the story and everyone was laughing. After they finished their hot dogs, it was time for s'mores, shouted Ada. Ada and Macy raced back inside to get all the ingredients that they had prepared, and especially the peppermint leaves. Ooh, that would be a really special magical touch to a s'more. What do you think would be a fun addition to s'more? Because normally it's, it's graham crackers and marshmallows and chocolate, but what if you put peanut butter inside of it? Or what if you put Nutella? Or, oh my goodness, there's so many different things that you could put in a s'more to make it taste delicious. And Ada really wanted to taste it with a peppermint leaf. As they came back to the fire, Macy was the first one to grab a stick. And she put the marshmallow on the stick. And their parents reminded them, All right, guys, remember these things get really hot. And so I know as much as you want to eat them as fast as you can, after you're cooking the marshmallow, you have to give it a minute to cool down or else it might burn your finger. Okay. Macy put on two marshmallows onto her stick and so did Ada. Oh, this is going to be so good, said Macy. This is the moment where everything is about to change. Remember at the beginning we talked about self-control being a pillar of being on the spy team? Do you know what self-control means? Self-control means that you are in control of your body. And sometimes it means that you need to follow the rules because the rules are in place because they don't want you to get hurt. And this is a great example of a rule that you need to follow. Do you know what happens if you touch a scalding hot marshmallow? Yes, it could burn the skin on your hand. And that's what Ada and Macy's parents, they don't want that to happen. But unfortunately, Macy wanted that marshmallow a little too much. Oh boy, oh no, it's burning. I gotta blow it out. (laughs) Macy carefully blew out the marshmallow but she was a little too excited to get it on her graham crackers to eat. Macy grabbed the marshmallow off way too quickly, and all of a sudden, ouch! The melting, burning hot marshmallow had burned her fingers. Oh no! Macy, are you okay? shouted Ada. Oh, it hurts so much! Ouch! Inside a marshmallow, when it gets really hot, it's almost like lava. And that's why you have to wait for it to cool down a little bit before you grab it. Because if you accidentally squeeze it, all that super hot marshmallowy goo will come out and it might burn your skin. And that is exactly what Macy has done. Ow, it hurts, it hurts. Oh no, what do we do? Ada, we need you to run out to the forest and find some aloe vera plants. That is going to be able to help Macy's finger get better. Okay, I'll go. Ada took off running for the forest. She had to hurry. This burn on Macy's finger, it hurts very badly. Is Ada going to be able to find the aloe vera plant? Which, what in the world is an aloe vera plant? We'll have to wait and see on the next episode of Kids Short Stories to find out. The end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating some birthdays. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, AJ, who's turning five years old. AJ loves fast cars, learning about the solar system, and collecting Pokemon cards. I love it, AJ, and I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy fifth birthday. And next up we have... Happy birthday, Birdie, who's turning seven years old. 
Birdie loves doing gymnastics, riding her bike, and making friendship bracelets with her big sister, Violet. Wow, Birdie, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy 7th birthday. And next up we have... Happy birthday, Benjamin, who's turning 8 years old. Benjamin loves baseball, music, especially ACDC and Imagine Dragons, and Minecraft. Says we always have to make sure we leave enough time at night to listen to Mr. Jim on our story button. Whoa, Benjamin, I'm so glad that you have a story button and that we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy 8th birthday. Well, friends, whoo. What a big birthday day. I hope you all have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This fire safety month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org